Hey there, Cancer, and welcome back into the channel, Sage Sunset Healing Tarot, and thank you so much for being here. I really do hope that you're doing well in this time. I want to thank all 3,000 and growing out of you beautiful souls for being a part of this journey. Thank you for your show of support. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. So I hope the messages here resonate with you and will be able to help you along your journey. So these will be general messages, so they may not all apply to all of you. Oh, oh. That's not what we're doing. This is what we be doing. All right, so I'm excited to get to the raffle. So this is the raffle reading for those of you who asked your question below the, are in the community section that I asked you to ask a question and then I'll be revealing a winner. So we're gonna draw, draw live now. And then I'm going to shuffle the cards, re read a question, shuffle the cards, and then I'll come back with a response for you. So I hope I will be able to serve you well. Gather your energy. Focus upon your question. I think there are five or six questions in this. Five or six. And I'm going to draw, your, draw the lucky winner now. <clears throat> All right, so let's get started. Hand in the bag. And I have one paper. I have two. All right, I have one now. I have one. The person's name on this paper is Jessica. Jessica H., your question is, what is next? for me all right so good question wonderful question i'll get to shuffling the cards i'll meditate upon your question and then i'll come back with the reading for you much love and thank you for participating thank you all for participating shout out to all the other participants so maybe next time is your time could be success and abundance that surrounds your life. The sun card, material success and abundance coming into you. The nine of pentacles as well. So this is financial security. This is independence. This is confidence. This is empowerment of self. So you've been working on yourself or it's just money. It's either money or self-empowerment, self-improvement. Self and then we have the two of wands. So I feel like you're dreaming again or you're moving away from a connection or a gift, something that you were working with, a business, a relationship. You may be moving away from that or aligning with something new. There's something going on with the two sevens here, the seven of swords and the seven of wands. I'm not sure, honestly. I feel like it's saying you're going to live the truth or see the truth or be the truth or be the truth or be the change you want to see or it's something to that effect okay you will be moving on or there's a shift but some movement is taking place mentally or physically it could it could be mentally or in your thought patterns you know what i mean or a change of energy or someone moving into your life. The seven of wands, standing up for what you believe in, believe in, there may be a fight in you, something having to do with your family, and I hear dominance, the seven of swords. So we have both sevens on the table once more. The thing is you are at the top of this spread here, which is a powerful move, a powerful place for you to be in your own reading. So I do feel like you're at the top of your game. And then there, I feel like maybe you moved away from a person that was your zing or so-called soulmate energy, possibly. Maybe you felt trapped with this person. So I feel like what's coming up next for you is you're going to be experiencing a lot of energies. This could be anger or sexual energy or things that you're passionate about. You're going to find yourself in the midst of these feelings. The, because there are new feelings that are coming up to you, like new ideas, just new energies coming in your midst. Maybe you want to build something. Maybe you want to find a way to use up these energies. Maybe you want to express your anger, express your feelings or your passions, your desires. I feel like this has something to do with family, history, planning, ancestry. All right, maybe something was lost in the family. Something was missing, stolen or misplaced or something like that. Or maybe... 
maybe some like if someone was doing too much like doing too much take a lot of action because of frustration feeling out of place they don't know what to do with themselves with the energy i feel like this is because of a, a, something that happened in the past maybe someone was lost um so this is why you have these feelings because it is a vision or a, it is a vision but it's more like a memory of something that you've lost a long time ago and maybe it has something to do with your family or your history your ancestry like i say maybe gifts something like that okay i feel like there's a shift coming up for you now a change of mind or a physical relocation I feel like in regards to these feelings that you'll be experiencing, you can become so very empowered in yourself. Become self-empowered. Come here, me, vibration. You know, I feel like you're going to do that because you're going to learn how to invest in yourself, your own well-being. Sometimes when you experience feelings like anger or... Anger, for example, feelings that we don't want to experience, unwanted feelings. Um, We can find a way how to make them work for us because our feelings are actually telling us what's really going on with us on a whole so i feel like you're going to become self-empowered like whatever you're going through it's going to take you into this place of empowerment of self this is also going to increase your financial stability and security if it is not already done yeah i do feel like you should be or if you're not yet investing in yourself i feel like you are in some way shape or form i feel like even in your home maybe you're drinking smoothies or you're working out you're doing yoga but i feel like you've invited something in your home that aids to the, the your well-being mentally it's going to help with your feelings i'm not sure if you're a person that has a lot of anger or just sexual tension but that's the energy like or maybe you want vengeance or something i feel like sometimes you do feel out of control of these energies okay but I'm feeling like beautifully there's coming a time where you will realize yourself. I feel like you have magician tendencies. You have alchemy and um, you have alchemy, the potential of an alchemist to really use the energies that are in you and turn them into something that will work for you. I feel like if you're working on a business, it's going to manifest. It's almost like I feel like you're going to realize that you are the master of your emotions, or the king of wands energy. You know, and you're going to be radiating, like powering up and radiating at the same time, like super hot vibration. If you're not already that. So I feel like you could be attracting someone that's coming around from your past, maybe, maybe the same, no, maybe, maybe, maybe two people. Maybe fire sign, water sign. Okay, but as it relates to your energy, the emotions that you're feeling, it's almost like you're going to learn to breathe with the seven of pentacles energy, breathing into your emotions. And that's alchemy, baby. Being angry, you are the master of your emotion if you can stand there and breathe into that feeling of anger. So it's not consuming you. So I feel like that's your major fear is that these feelings will consume you or get out of control. But the hope is also the king of wands. You can master these emotions. They say a strong man masters others and a truly wise man masters himself. So whatever it is around you, it could be other people, it could be any other situation that you're dealing with, it could be bullies. Whatever you're standing up against, you're going to have full power over it. I feel like you're going to be receiving messages of good, beautiful messages, page of cups, vibration, inspiration, spiritual messages, emotional messages. Messages of love and transformation and just beautiful water energy surrounding you. Like I say, you could be attracting attention from many other people because you're on fire. I feel like the basis of you is fire. The top of the deck here, remember we have the Queen of Cups. And this is you after you've become emotionally balanced and grounded and self-aware or... You know what I'm saying? Because you've started to become self-empowered, you're investing in yourself, you're controlling your emotions. I feel like you're even you're starting a business even based upon your own emotions because you're a very creative person, I feel. Creative dreamer. 
I just heard. I feel like I used to say that when I was younger about myself. Creative dreamer. Because I used to like writing. I used to dream a lot. Oh my. So I do feel like you have a new vision, beautiful. Um, or you will have a new vision of things that you want to create, who you want to be. A new vision of yourself. You may also be coming into soulmate vibration like a zing with another water sign, possibly or a fire sign. A zing. Like it may not be, a, this person may not be a soulmate, but the energy will be beautiful between the two of you. Like laughter, joy, fun and adventure. Like zing, like, um, oh, yeah. Um, I feel like you're saving yourself or you're saving something or, or you're saving your money or your time or your energy for that. I really just feel like things will be beautiful for you as the Queen of Cups here. Honestly. Yeah, things will be beautiful for you. Let's see if that's 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 that that's it. You're gonna become more balanced emotionally and financially, you know. Alright, so leaving these messages here. I hope you found some that resonates with you, the King of God, and is able to help you on your journey. If you did hit like share comment subscribe um become a part of the family here and i will see you in the next reading i do for you much love until then remember that dear all and all is within you eat well walk good take care bye